guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make compound word flashcards that fit together like puzzle pieces. These are the items you'll need to make your flashcards. A white sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, and a pencil. If you'd like to decorate your flashcards, you could also grab a box of crayons. The first thing you'll do is take your white sheet of paper and fold it so that you have eight boxes. If you're in my class, this is how we fold our papers when we are going to do math facts. Next, use your pencil to write a compound word in each box. Even though compound words have no spaces, you are going to want to leave a little bit of space in between the two separate words. So, for example, day time doesn't have a space in it, but you are gonna leave a little bit of a space here. The same thing with football, bookshelf, fireplace, waterfall, raincoat, starfish, and sundown. You don't have to decorate your flashcards, but I like to make things colorful and cute, so I did. If you'd like to copy the words or copy the illustrations, this is a good place to pause the video so you can do that. Next, use your scissors to cut apart the boxes. The next thing we'll do is cut each of the cards apart in a unique way. So I'm gonna start with just a straight cut through day and time. So these will fit together just like that. For football, I think I'll do almost a greater than symbol. So they'll fit together like that. You don't have to cut your flashcards apart the exact same way that I did, but you do want to cut each card apart in a way that's unique so that each word will only match up with the word it forms a compound word with. So for example, I couldn't match up the word book with place because the two pieces won't go together. I can only match up a book with shelf and fire with place. I hope that you enjoyed making the flashcards. You can definitely make more. I will include a link to a list of compound words in the description box below. That's all I have for you today, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.